Hello and welcome back to another edition of Saints Spotlight. Today I'm joined by Sean Green, class of 2021. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today, Sean. Well, thank you for having me. So, starting off, uh, would you mind sharing with us why you and what led you to choose Thomas More University? So, uh, my dad, along with his mother, my grandmother, came here. And in a way, it was kind of like a cheap way to get there because, like, you get a discount when there's family that had been at Thomas More. So, in a way... I kind of took the easy way, easy way around there, but also it's because I, I wanted to kind of really just go out into the world and just go discover new things and everything. Right on. Would you mind telling us about your experience here at Thomas More as a student with autism? It was very hard, but um, until my second semester of my first year. It got a little bit easier because, thankfully, um, the Institute of Learning Differences, ILD for short, um, came thanks to uh, Amy Osborne, the first director that was there. Um, she, uh, um, she, along with everyone else who worked in the ILD, was very helpful to me when it came because they helped me get organized. Not that I wasn't, but... I was able to understand more with the tutors and when they elaborated on it more, even if it was vague or I just couldn't understand it. And um, it was just, it, it got easier with each year, basically. That's the way it should be. That's Absolutely. how experience and just knowledge building off of each other. And the ILD has been just a tremendous success and proof with you and how you've been able to achieve your goals and just as well as having everything that's, that I, that's ILD is able to provide during the school year of studying and everything of the sorts. Exactly. So what were some of the obstacles you had to overcome and what were some of the tools you used to become successful? Well, it wasn't just like, besides like the ILD, but like, it's like basically I learned a lot about why I need to take things a lot more serious, such as like my studies and just basically study harder than I had before but also just like mainly just like with the help of the tutors in the ILD it it helped it helped a lot I mean it was just it, it was just basically helpful to me because I could because I could just get my work done and not like forget and they were able to remind me if I forgotten which rarely happened. <laughs> right on. Yeah. Now, about your book, Dwayne, uh, can you talk a little bit about your inspiration for it and your process writing slash illustrating the book? <clears throat> so, it, Dwayne was basically my imaginary friend when I was a kid. I just, Dwayne just, the name Dwayne just came out of nowhere. I mean, it was just kind of like that, that um, name that just, you don't really hear a lot of people have except for like the rock and Dwayne Wade, but now you got Dwayne, the abominable snowman. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, at first I didn't really have that. I, I didn't really think I was going to ever write about this character until thankfully, uh, Sherry Cook Stanforth, who is a professor at Thomas More university. Um, she, um, told me that I really need to get into children's literature, which I did. And it it just kind of happened, and we just had a class assignment where she said, oh, you should do a children's story, and I did Dwayne. <laughs> now, um, I will say that I didn't really get anything published until after I was out of college. I tried doing it while I was in college, but it just, life got busy. But the process at first was very hard. It was very stressful. Mainly because it was just I'm a first time author. It got easier with, in the like later on, but um, I mean I I had to learn like technology, like how to illustrate on like a computer instead of like a notepad, and that was just it. It just got again just like how college. It just got easier with the process and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have a favorite, uh, what was your favorite part or part of the story to write? Or if you don't mind us spoiling the book, do you have a favorite page or, or illustration that you worked on? So, again, I, well, that was second time. So, um, 
let me find it. I will say that, I mean, I, I like all the pages, don't get me wrong, and a lot of people, they, they like all the pages, but if I had to choose a, if I had to choose one, it would definitely be this one. Do, want me a dance party, it? yeah. Part right here, yeah. It's so cool. I, that's a lot of people's favorite. I mean, just having a party, having a good time, I mean, yeah. That's awesome. It looks like it's towards the end of the book, so a good end to uh, to get it around with as well. Absolutely, yeah. And I, I mentioned before, but I just love the the colors and the just energy your your, your cover has for for the book, and I can tell it uh, very much will resonate with uh, readers when they when they pick it up. Why, thank you. Yeah. Now, uh, do you plan on writing any other additional books, or have yes. plans? Yes. Well, yes, I um, I'm actually in the process of um, working on my second book. I'm almost I'm actually almost done with it. I'm really hoping to get it released this summer. Yes. And what's it, can you tell us a little bit about that? So um, this will be the first time I actually reveal the cover, but um, the uh, or not cover the the title, but um, it'll be called Camp Fuzzy Fazoo, and that is about a boy that goes to summer camp and learns how to just basically have fun and just go out in the world and travel instead of just staying home and and doing nothing. I mean, absolutely. Right on. Well, that, that sounds like a lot of fun and a lot more fun to create. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And I guess lastly, do you have any advice for current students? Don't give up on your dreams. I mean, if you have a dream, just work on it. I mean, if it, it might be hard, but you'll realize that it that's a part of the journey. And if you work hard, you're going to get there eventually. Right on. Well, it has been a pleasure to hear and listen to you. Thank you for the uh, the world reveal of, of your next book. And uh, thank you again so much for sitting down and talking with us. And thank you all back home for joining us for another edition of Saint Spotlights. Be sure to tune in the next one. See you.